Hey everybody, um, I'm flat ironing my hair out, and I haven't flat ironed it in a long time, and um, it has grown, I'm not flat ironing it completely straight for first of all, but uh, I decided I would just um, flat iron it to stretch it out more, give it a light bump, so that's what I'm doing. And yeah, okay, uh, it has truly grown out uh, a lot. So um, I just wanted to do this. And then I think I'm going to twist my hair in a twist style. And so I saw some hair on my top. And yeah. Yeah, first I was just going to keep braiding it to uh, stretch it out like these braids that I have in it have in there but um, I think for the most part uh, me giving it a light flat iron would uh, make it stretch out better since I don't normally uh, put heat on my hair so you know this is the first time this year I'm doing this Anyway. I was hoping it was you because if it wasn't me, then who is it? I probably won't wear it out anyway. You know, I'm going to do an updo style. At least it'll be stretched out for me because I don't want it to be uh, too hard to comb through while I'm trying to do the updo style. So that's my whole reason for uh, flat ironing it out a little bit anyway because I don't want to have too much. Uh, problems uh, with combing through it to do my updo style. Yeah, just trying to hit those ends a little bit better. Yeah, like I said, I don't want it to be completely straight anyway. So this is what I'm doing, and I'll let you guys see my updo style when I'm finished. Okay, I've completely um, flat ironed my hair, but it, it, as you can see, it's not completely straight. It might look completely straight to you guys, but not to me, but yeah, so oh, I'm going to start on oh, some type of updo for right now. Um, yeah, so it'll be easier for me to comb through right now. I really did not want to flat iron my hair, but it was just taking too long to stretch out for me. And the top of my hair um, was very hard to comb through, and I didn't want to experience uh, any hair breakage in the top. Because I had experienced hair breakage in the top before, and I didn't want that to happen again. So I decided to just straighten it out. Um, some wherefore um, it won't just be breaking off in the top of my head so yeah I'm gonna do a protective style because I'm not gonna get up and comb my hair every day or twist it every day you know those type of hairstyles so I'll get back with you I'm not gonna do a tutorial on how I do it I'm just going to do it and then I'll show you the hairstyle okay bye Hey everybody, now this is the updo style that I made with my own natural hair. So it wasn't that hard to do. So I'm going to show it to you. So this is a jumbo twist right here in the front. You see my hair still has texture to it. That's why I was telling you in the previous video footage that I was not going to um, flat iron my hair completely straight and uh, right here there's a jumbo braid it's not tight I just did it very loosely and in the back let me move something out the way so I can turn around there is a braid going up the back uh -oh. um, so there's a braid going up the back right here and then I put this hair clip at the top to help camouflage 
uh, the top area a little bit. I don't know if you guys could still hear me when I was just talking, but I put the comb thing up here so that it could camouflage the top of the braid a little bit for me. So, and also I put on my new lipstick. Um, let's see, which one is it? Uh, Lust, Lust for a Blush. Um, the new Maybelline uh, Nude Lipstick. It is moisturizing. It's not drying to your lips at all. So if you would like to get some of these matte lipsticks that are very moisturizing, the new Maybelline Cream Matte Lipsticks, I think this is excellent. So, yeah. Yeah, I really like that too. So, yeah, this is what I decided to do uh, with my hair. Um... I'm not big on gel, having gel all over my head. I had uh, made myself a ponytail and I put gel on my hair to mold it going up and it was horrible, okay? I don't know why it was horrible, but I was not feeling it, so I took it down and I don't know if you remember from a previous haul that I did, I showed you guys this curly uh, Lazy Day ponytail that I bought for my Lazy Days and I didn't feel like doing my hair. Uh, so I uh, had purchased that and it was, wasn't, I don't know, I, I just wasn't feeling that hairstyle on me too. And plus the gel took all day to dry. I was like, uh, I can't do this because I did not want to sit under the dryer. I even let it dry overnight and it still was real, real wet and I could not take it any more. All right, guys, so I'm going to talk to you guys later. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm also feeling this hairstyle I've made myself. You know, when you uh, come out of wearing your wigs and units and stuff and you go back to wearing your natural hair, you have to get used to the way that you look with your natural hair all over again. And plus, I needed to put it in a style wherefore I would not have to worry about... Um, doing my hair every single morning before I go to work. So, I just did this uh, updo style for now. So, I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!